Uh, with that, we'll open the for questions for Coach Kruger. Was the plan coming in to have Trey be that much of a vital part of the offense in terms of scoring? I mean, was that when you were drawing up a plan for him this season, was it for him to have 600 shots and 27 points a game and that stuff? Knew he was going to be a big factor, of course. Uh, we had the opportunity to a foreign trip in the summer. That gave us a little preview. Uh, but uh, I don't think anyone expected him to do in November and December what he did. Uh, he exploded onto the scene. He, he made shots. He made plays. Uh, did a terrific job. So, uh, obviously, as a guy gets those results, you're going to adjust a little bit. But uh, knew he was going to be a huge factor, but uh, maybe not to the extent that it turned out. Well, defenses have made it tougher later, you know, so that changes everything, too, because they started giving him, uh, you know, being much more physical with him, uh, being more aggressive, uh, trying to get out of his hands earlier, so uh, probably became a lot less efficient later than, uh, than early, but uh, again, no one was as efficient as he was early. You know, he did a, uh, such a good job. He set such a high bar. I think that changes everyone's expectations, and then when it doesn't quite work out as smoothly uh, later, then uh, you kind of get measured by what you did early, and that was a pretty tough standard. So, yeah, Coach, actually, sorry, over here, Mark Tracy from the New York Times. Uh, to, to follow up a bit on that, you know, you must uh, watch tape not only of your opponents but your own team. I'm sure you see what teams are doing to you, you know, from the perspective of Coach of Oklahoma, but also, like, imagine you're a coach – you know, scouting what, what teams are doing to Oklahoma. What are they doing to you guys uh, in the past month or so that's, that's proven more effective? I don't know if they changed a lot uh, in the last month. Uh, you know, from early on, they, uh, you know, obviously given Trey, you know, more attention, uh, trying to be more physical with him, uh, trying to make him uh, finish tough shots at the rim, uh, maybe staying at home on receivers a little bit more. Uh, uh, you know, and, and the blueprint was pretty much the same game after game after game. And, uh, uh, you know, we, we got, uh, you know, we came a little bit, you know, we got married to, to making shots in November, December, early January. Uh, when we make shots, everything works pretty well. And we don't, you know, our energy level is not quite the same. Not the ideal way you'd like for a team to be built. But we just haven't quite gotten away from being... Uh, you know, connected closely with making shots. And uh, when we make shots, things are good. When we don't, we've uh, not, not done as well. Dean Blevins, News 9 Sports. Um, Lon, how big of a factor do you think it is that Rhode Island has not seen you? It's not like a Big 12 team seeing you for a second time and has been scouting you all year. Do you see that as playing to your advantage? And if you put yourself in their shoes, what do you think they're doing? It goes both ways. Of course, we don't know them as well as their conference teams do either. You know, I, I uh, think they've got terrific individual talent. Uh, you know, Coach Hurley's done a great job with them. Uh, they uh, they uh, are attacking all the time, defensively, offensively. Uh, but to you know, for us to know exactly what they are until we get on the floor, that will be a little bit different for us. Just like for them, you know, for them to know exactly what we're about. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's different when you're playing a, a team that's not as familiar, not in your league, uh, as part of the NCAA, you know, uh, lore, if you will. And uh, uh, so, yeah, it'll be a bit different for them, but us too. Doug Galassi, uh, Pittsburgh Tribune Review. A uh, couple questions for you, Coach. Number one, uh, y you've coached a lot of guards in your, in your coaching career. And what are some of the things that makes uh, Trey unique? And then secondly, uh, just kind of as a, a piggyback off of that, uh, seems more and more freshmen are, are making that earlier impact and a massive impact uh, at that. Uh, what, do you th what, are you, what are the big factors in that as far as uh, what, what you see as a coach? Young people come into college today uh, having played uh, a, a lot more high-level competition perhaps uh, through the summer, through their you know, uh, high school teams, summer league uh, competition. Uh, so I think they're more ready. They've played more basketball. They've played more, uh, again, high-level competition. Uh, you know, with Trey, he's just highly skilled. He's very skilled. He's very fast. Uh, you know, sees the floor, good imagination, uh, probably as much as any player we've ever had for sure. And uh, that's, again, uh, why he's getting the results that he's gotten.
Uh, Lon, uh, Roman Subs, Washington Post. Um, you guys saw Colin Sexton. He's here this weekend as well, and you guys saw him earlier this year. What makes him so good and, and it's just kind of so unique and such a maybe a matchup uh, difficulty? Well, he's awfully, uh, awfully talented. He's uh, extremely competitive. He's got that extra gear, I think, as, as really good players have. Uh, uh, he, he keeps the pressure on all the time. He's attack mode all the time. Uh, got good size, good length. Uh, just uh, terrific all around. Any other questions for Coach? Thank you, Coach. Thank you.